What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today is Fart Champions Rewards Day. Of course, we get our rewards from Elite 3 today, which is absolutely amazing. I uh, just want to clear out my trade pile before we go any further, show you guys what I've been selling and for how much. And um, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Like I'm obviously very, very happy with the prize I'm going to be getting here. What I'm going to be getting is 70,000 coins, one 100k pack, and one premium team of the week pack, which contains three guaranteed gold informs. Um, however, there are a lot of golds this week. There are two amazing uh, golds, Aubameyang and Bale, um, but we're going to take a look at what we could potentially get. Um, and then once we get our prizes, I'm going to build a team for this uh, current um, tournament. So uh, that's basically where we're going to go. Of course, I have to claim them first. But to look at the online, sorry, to look at the team of the week, um, if I get one of Aubameyang, Pjanic, Firmino, Salah, Bale, Pedro, or Giovinco, or Ricardi, so there's eight people, I'll be happy. Any of the eight, like 80 through 85. 80, 85 or above, or for me, I'd be happy with. This Forsberg card isn't bad either. Uh, it's actually a really decent looking card. The only problem with it is, even as an 84 rated, it's just not really a a card that's going to get used much. But I'd still, I, I would still be happy with it. If we get this guy, I would be very unhappy. If we get this guy, I would be very unhappy. If we get Howard, probably be a little bit meh on Howard. Lopez... I don't use that league, so a little bit mad there. This, I mean, this centre back, he's pretty decent to be fair. He wouldn't be a bad one to get. Um, Kalu wouldn't be a bad one to get. Uh, you know, pretty decent card. We might have to like maybe create a Bundesliga team if we uh, get Kalu and Budaboos as well. Uh, it's actually a really decent card. Uh, it's just a shame it's in a league that I don't personally play on. Now I know a lot of people like if if I get garbage, if I get three garbage informs and I'm upset. It's not that I'm upset because I feel like I should have had better. I, it's just because of what could be. There is so much potential for good stuff here that if we end up getting nothing, I'll just be a little bit sad inside. And, you know, I don't know how anyone could argue with people uh, getting sad inside when, when you expect so much and you receive so little. But there's a long way to go. We get a premium team of the week pack, a jumbo rare players pack, 70,000 coins, which puts us up to 454,000 coins. And as you can see, we have now qualified for the weekend league, which is spectacular. And what we're going to do is we're going to open these packs, then we're going to build a team to play in this daily knockout tournament, which requires... Um, it requires three La Liga players minimum. Before we do that, I am also going to be completing the Tipper Legayan Player of the Year. Uh, I had all of these players in the club already, with exception... Actually, no, I had all of them in there. This guy, we packed in one of our reward packs from a previous SBC. To my knowledge, he's not really selling for much, like 13,000, 14,000 coins. Yeah, so, you know, th basically this is costing us 13,000 coins to get ourselves a Team of the Year Jensen card. A lot of people wondered why would I get this for the Road to Glory. Well, first of all, it's only 15k max, and we've just been awarded anyway 70,000 coins, right? But second of all, this guy's card is ridiculous. Ridiculously good, um, especially for a super sub. Yeah, we won't be starting him. He won't be in a team by any stretch of imagination. But high, high, four star, weak foot, five foot ten, unbelievably well rounded stats. He's he's just going to make a fantastic player to have in the club. So I'm very excited to have him in there. But now I know what you guys want to see. You guys want to see the 100k pack and the uh, the team of look at that premium team of the week pack, man. It's so nice. I have I had pretty good luck last week, not gonna lie. Petacek, Willian, and Kante in the same pack was pretty decent. I'm just asking for one superstar player. That's it. Let's see what we get. I don't know if that's a walkout or not. It's a nice big flare. There's two big flares. Is that oh oh man? Suarez would obviously have been a walkout. We get Edison Cavani in our 100k pack, along with oh Douglas Costa. That's not too bad. Um, I don't know how much Douglas Costa goes for. Let's take a look at uh, Cavani's price. Tell me he's actually... No, okay, so he's like 3k or something. Um, I'm going to store everyone into the club for now because I want to build a team and, and take a look first. Take a, you know, take a pause for the cause. Douglas Costa at 20,000 coins. That's not too bad. Um, do I want to keep him? Would I use him? I would use him because we now have the squad builder challenge 
Jonas, which I've just ruined for a video, so uh, sorry about that, but I have got the Squad Builder Challenge Jonas. Um, so we keep Douglas Costa, Coleman, Honda, Fernandez, Lopez, Herrera, Perotti, Williams, uh, sorry, yeah, Willems. Felipe Anderson's not bad, Bernard, Carroll, Baba, Manquilo's not bad. Um, that's, I mean, it's not an ideal pack. We've got a couple of decent players in there. Felipe Anderson's pretty good. Willems will be good for a squad builder challenge, as will Herrera. Um, Coleman, the same. Gamero, the same. Costa and Cavani, the best players. So not the best in terms of the 100k pack, but this is what it boils down to. The only walkout here is Gareth Bale. So if the pack freezes... To my knowledge, we get Gareth Bale. If it doesn't, it means that Aubameyang would be the best or highest rated player we could get. I'm so nervous, like genuinely so nervous to see what we get. Let's go, EA. It's not going to be the walkout. Who's it going to be? Come on, be nice. Pjanic! Yes! Yes, we get an 86 rated player. That's what's up, EA. That's what's up. It's not the best. It's not the Aubameyang. And it's not the... Um, it's not the... Uh, not the bail, but we get Pjanic, Kalu, and Budaboos. I don't know how much Pjanic goes for. I guess because his one to watch card is about not so... Oh, look at that. That's amazing. I'm selling him. 160 bin. Looks like, looks like we'll get 160 for him. 158 there. 157, 156, 157. Because obviously everyone's opening their prizes now, so he's obviously coming out a lot. 150,000 coins for him, and he is just going to go 150k in the bag, guys. Can you believe it? So we're going to sell Pjanic, 150,000. Let's just get rid of him. We've also got Kalu. Now, Kalu's got a decent card. It's, like I say, it's not a league that I specifically like, and that's why he only goes for 30,000 coins. I'm not sure whether I want to keep him or sell him, to be honest. Um, Bundesliga is not really my uh, my thing, but you never know if you're going to need a Bundesliga inform for a squad builder challenge. And then uh, Buda Booz as well. Looks like he goes for about 15, maybe 20,000 coins. There's some like 10k bids on. We haven't seen a low bin uh, less than 20,000. So yeah, okay, we could probably get like 18,000 for Buda Booz. But I'm actually going to keep him because again... Uh, he's actually got a ridiculously good card. For a substitute, he would be amazing. 84 dribbling, 82 shooting, 84 passing. Just exquisite. Um, Kalu, very similar card, actually. Great dribbling and shooting. Good passing. Both of these dudes, we could keep and just keep them as, as players that we have we have and we love. And look at that. That Pjanic has sold. We now have, guys, 600,000 coins. 600,000 coins. In a road to glory that is five weeks old. That's insane. Like, genuinely insane. But on top of that 600,000 coins, look at the calibre of players we've got sat on the front page. Kalu in form. I bought Podolski in form, by the way, because uh, he looks amazing. I bought him for 29,500. 84 pace, 89 shooting, 80 passing, 80 dribbling. With a, with a hunter card on him, he might just be amazing. I don't know how much he's going for now. Maybe 35k. Might have even made some money on Podolski. Looks like I have. Looks like his low bin is 35k here. 24 minutes in. There's none less than that. So yeah, you look... Oh, wait. Wow. There's one there for 29,000 as well. But anyway, I bought him for 29,000 coins. I, I think he's going to be amazing. We've also got Dahoud that we picked up. We've got Ryan that we picked up. And I bought these guys because I have a feeling that they're going to be useful for a squad builder challenge. Gomez, Korb, Yednak and Ledley I picked up. Uh, Hoffman I bought, uh, packed, sorry, along with uh, Nesevsky. A uh, couple of bronze pack method packs, two of those boys. Then we've got players, Cavani, Laporte, Varane, Jonas. All these amazing players in the club that have value, you know? They all have value. And they've all, all for free, all for playing the game. Look at what we've got available to us, guys. This is nuts. This is genuinely nuts. And then if we go to gold, um, and then I don't, there's not like a special tab, is there? I'd love to just take you to the special tab to have a look. Or they, they need to have like an untradeable tab. Or a special tab because uh, it's a little bit ridiculous where we're at right now. But we're going to go through all of these, uh, all of these pages, all of these players. I guess there's probably like 30 or 40 pages here, and we'll get to the untradeables. And the untradeables are full of some really, really quality high-end players. There you go. Look at that. The Jonas card is there. He would be such a better cam um, or a centre midfielder. High medium, 5'11", five star weak foot, great shooting, passing, and dribbling. Good pace and physical. With Maestro, he'll be amazing. We've got Giovinco, who we use as a sub. 
Um, fantastic card. We've got ourselves Navas Raheem Sterling, who has now 207 games for the club. Mustafi Gareth Barry, who has 171 games for the club. Hyung Min Son, 150 games for the club. His goal, goal and assist to game ratio has really dropped down this, uh, this time around. It was really high before. We've got Sansone there, 72 games. Most of those as a substitute. Doesn't really get uh, many starts in. Walcott as a as a uh, untradeable. We've got Jensen now, the brand new guy. We've also got ourselves Alex Hunter, who has 47 games, 33 goals for the club. This club, guys, through nothing but time, is stacked. We've played 280, 293 games in total, and we've got 600,000 coins in an absolutely stacked squad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a team for the uh, new Foot Champions uh, qualifier. We have we have qualified for Foot Champs, by the way, guys. I just want to show you that because uh, you do get it for finishing in gold. Some people were worried that EA weren't going to qualify people that finished in gold or above, but I just want to show you guys for the future Foot Champions, we are qualified, and I haven't qualified. like So I did get that indeed for completing and finishing in gold three or above. And of course, we got into elite. So that is just... Absolutely amazing. Now, of course, my favorite formation is the 4-3-2-1. So I am going to stick with that for now. Um, we need three... I, I believe... Let me go and check the team specifications real quick. I believe it's three La Liga players minimum. And for winning this tournament, you get a La Liga premium goal pack, which is... Um, so you need three La Liga in a starting 11. Yeah, so the La Liga premium goal pack is um, a 7.5k pack that contains guaranteed only La Liga players. So with that special Gareth Bale with Ronaldo's, with Messi's, Suarez's, Neymar's, it's, it's a nice pack to get because you have a really, a, not a high chance, but a higher chance of picking up um, one of the... Uh, one of the good uh, La Liga players. So we're going to start off by having a look at who we've got in La Liga and how we want to do this. Because I want to get as many of my random special cards in as possible. So in terms of building this, I mean, Laporte and Varane. Laporte and Varane with Kaylon Navas and maybe Tremoulinet. Or Carver Howe and uh, Kaylon Navas. We only need three, bear in mind. So we can sort the defence out. And then go anywhere else we want to go in the midfield and above. We've got like we've got a really nice uh, stacked squad for La Liga anyway. But I've set, I save all these players, man, because as soon as that squad builder challenge comes out for La Liga, I want to be on it. I want to be there. We get Kaylon Navas, and we'll throw in Sansone just because he's untradeable. So we could do Kaylon Navas. I could go Kaylon Navas, Varane, and Carver Howe uh, like that, and that allows me then. Any defence and any midfield because that is three La Liga players and they all they all they all get perfect chem no matter who else goes into the team. I'm wondering if I throw in Laporte anyway, um, just to Laporte is then one link short. I could then put I could just give the whole La Liga defence like that. Um, let's go and take a look. Let me go and grab the special cards that we've got that I want into the team uh, to start with. Who do I want to put in? Um, we'll throw Kalu, we'll throw uh, Podolski, and we'll throw Buda Booz onto the team. Um, of course, Del Piero I'm not going to be touching just yet. Uh, I do want to get also, um, let me go to quality gold again. Uh, gold. I wonder, if, do, I wonder if they come under special. Oh, they do. Perfect. There you go. Easier way to get to them. Um, so we'll throw Jonas. I want to play with Jonas. No homo. Um, I just don't know whether I want him to be a striker or a midfielder. Um, so we might start him off as striker. Like with a hunter card, he'll go to 87 pace and 99 shooting. With 85 passing and 89 dribbling, that is crazy, crazy good. Um, it would require us playing with a Brazilian right mid and a Brazilian left mid. We do have Douglas Costa for the left mid, or we could put him off Kemp, or we could put him in midfield, but then there'd be no links to him. Like, the only way we could link him is if we got, like, a left back or a right back from... He's, he's just a really tough one to link, isn't he? He is a really tough one to link. But we're going to start with him up front there, guys. We're going to throw him up front. So I am going to go and get um, Douglas Costa to go in this left-hand side spot. Uh, Douglas Costa, boom! A pack pull, Douglas Costa. Yo, this has been a good, a good set of rewards. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't want to start Jensen, but we'll throw him. 
we'll throw him in there. I wonder if... Let me let me have a look at what we've got from the Liga Nos and specifically from Benfica. Because if I can just get a strong link to him straight away, that would be great. Where the hell is... There we go, Benfica. Because I know there's a right mid or Rafa the left mid... See, because we could put Jardel in defence. And Jardel with a, a shadow would actually be sick. And he's tall, isn't he? 6'4", medium high. It's intri oh, this is intriguing for me. This is intriguing. Because I know there's also... There's the right mid from um, Benfica, who I wouldn't mind putting in, I think. Grimaldi would be a good shout. In fact, Grimaldi... We could go Grimaldi, Jonas, Douglas Costa... So many choices, guys. So many choices. Um, we could take PZ. We could take Carrillo uh, for the midfield. And there's another right midfielder, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, so Salvio, for me, has got a really nice card. Um, he wouldn't be a bad shout to put into the team. Four-star, four-star. He's a little bit weak, a little bit short, but good pace and dribbling, good shooting and passing, and would get that strong link into um, Jonas, and then would only require the one link to... Uh, to kind of go further from that. So let's go and have a look if we can get if we can get a right wing Salvio for cheap. Uh, then it will save me buying it. So let me go and have a look on the market if we can get a right wing Salvio for a relatively cheap price. I can't believe we got Pjanic, guys. Honestly, I was so happy to pick up Pjanic. Like, so happy. Um, 150,000 coins just like that. It's crazy. Uh, so I do want Salvio. I want him at right wing, though. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how much we're going to be... Yeah, see. Oh, two. Uh, that must be gone, right? Wow, that's cheap. Look how, look how. There's no other right wing Salvio for less than four thousand coins. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play Salvio in the team just so we can use Jonas. Um, if if we don't like him, if we don't get on with him, um, we can take Jonas out. We can use him as a super sub, or we can put him on the bench, or we can put him in the midfield. Sorry. The reason why I wanted to pick Salvio there as well is because I actually really want to use. Um, Lucas Podolski, which means I'm going to need a Turkish league centre midfielder at some point as well. Um, let's go quality. Actually, let's just go... Let's, go, let's have a look at the centre mids to start. I want to go gold at least, of course. They must have some like really decent players, right? Could also use a CDM or a CAM. Now, if they do have like an inform of someone, that would be ideal. In fact, let's go and have a look. Oh, Wesley Schneider might be a good shout. Oh. That was... This Schneider is... He's a bit short for me. That's the only problem. He's a bit short. I like my midfielders to have strength and, and height. It's just like a, a personal preference of playstyle. But for like 50k... For 16k, we could get Van Persie in at cam. What what like I don't want to like I don't want to waste coins. Like, I don't want to buy Schneider for the sake of buying his special card at fifty five thousand coins. I would rather buy his regular card um, and and just play with it and and build off of it. So we go Wesley Schneider, and he can't be expensive yet. Wait, have I really not? Have I got? I would be very surprised if I didn't have him in the club actually. Let me go and have a have a look real quick. Because if I've already got him in the club, then uh, happy days. Um, let's go and have a look at League Turkey position. Any. Let's see what we've got from the Turkish League. Okay, so I actually don't have uh, Wes. Unless I've got him as an untradeable. Still could potentially have him as an untradeable. Still could potentially have him as an untradeable. Come on, how many Turkish players have I got? This is crazy. He's even from the correct league. No, okay, so he's from the correct league as um, Podolski. So we'll throw Podolski there. It's going to be actually difficult to get all of these in, isn't it? Um, we're going to need... We could just put a... See, I, I, need a li I need a strong link to him. I need a Turkish league Galatasaray midfielder. So Schneider's going to be the obvious choice. But it's going to be really difficult to fit them all in. So I'll save Podolski for a super sub. Um, and what we'll do is we will put Douglas Costa up in here. I'm going to have to get a left mid to left wing. Um, we can then get a Bayern midfielder. I don't know. 
I don't want to waste my coins right now as well, by the way, guys. I know some people are probably sitting there saying you have 600,000 coins. Spend them. I don't want to waste coins. I can win this tournament without spending any coins on any players. Or any, like, substantial coins on any players. We could actually play... Who's getting out of here? We could actually play Kalu in the team as well. Um, and then get ourselves Renato Sanchez, who would be one link short. So that wouldn't work. We also need a silver... Sorry, not a silver, a, an Argentinian. Let's go and have a look at... What league are we looking at? The, the Liga Nos. Let's just go and have a look at all the players we've got in the Liga Nos real quick. Because if we have got a good centre midfielder... Oh, oh, so we could put Carvalho in and Renato Sanchez. Carvalho wouldn't get the links because of Carver Howe. That doesn't work. We could go with Herrera. No, we can't. I was going to say we could go with Herrera and... Um, Leyun because they get perfect link, but that doesn't work due to the fact that it's the wrong side. Um, or I could just go with Rafa Herrera and Leyun and get rid of what's his face, but then I'll be one link short there. It's difficult, isn't it? It is. It is just genuinely difficult. I could go with this Spanish uh, Spanish little number here, Torres. Let's get Torres into the team. Um, I mean, he hasn't got a great card. And he doesn't even get nearly enough links either. Um, all this for Jonas, man. It's difficult, isn't it? It is difficult. Let's have a look at who I've got from the Bundesliga. I, I wouldn't mind buying uh, Renato Sanchez. I don't think he's like too expensive, so it's not a problem. Dahoud. Dahoud's actually got a decent enough card. Um, Castro... Castro just isn't helpful for me because I just don't like him. I don't like him as a player in this game. We don't, we, I don't have enough quality players for some leagues. I would have to go and buy some. But I'd be interested to see. I really should turn this parameters to gold. It would be, uh, it would be a hell of a lot easier. Um, I'd really like... I don't know. I'd like to be able to fit in Renato Sanchez. I just know that I can't do it unless I get two Bayern players. Because Sanchez is going to be one link short. Unless we go and get Renato Sanchez and we go and get Pepe. Because with Renato Sanchez and Pepe, we'll be able to uh, get him his fourth link. Pepe will get all the links because of Navas and Varane. We can then get rid of the left back and put in Cohen Trau. I wonder if I already have Cohen Trau. I think I do. Uh, wrong league. Hello? Wakey, wakey. I apologise this, uh, this squad build has taken long, guys. But, well, we have Gaia. Gaia doesn't link with Pepe. Not how I'd like him to, anyway. Um, I must have I must have got rid of... See, we could just go a full Real Madrid backline. Just getting Pepe and getting Cointrao and then put Renato Sanchez in at left centre mid. And then we would need... See, we need an Argentinian midfielder. Who do we have as an Argentinian midfielder from the Bundesliga? I apologise that this is taking so long, guys, but uh, unfortunately, you have to see it with me. So we don't have anything here, concept players. So there's there's no one here, really, that helps us. So we are going to have to go for either putting him off Kem or getting rid of Douglas Costa. I want to, like, I, I, if I've got Douglas Costa, I would like to use Douglas Costa, you know? There's no reason not to. Um... Unless we just don't use Jonas to start with. Maybe we go with... Maybe we go with... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We've got our defence sorted. It's it's so hard to get a midfield in, isn't it? I don't know why. I'm, I'm making it way more difficult than it actually is. Let's put him onto the bench. We'll just use him as a sub. Let's put Podolski onto the bench. We'll throw him on it. Look, look, look at how stacked this bench is as well. This is, this is a pretty damn good bench. Not going to lie. It, is, uh, it doesn't really have many defensive options apart from Jensen. Um, but the rest of this bench is pretty damn good. Uh, we've got Jonas up front. What I might do is go and get... Alright, so th this is what we're going to do. We're going to put Carvalho in here. Uh, or Carvalho, if I, if I said his name wrong. I do apologise. It's too late to apologise. Um, Liganos Portuguese centre mid. No, we want Liganos Portuguese CDM. And he's actually got a ridiculously good card as well. 
good pace, good sorry, good passing, good defending, good dribbling, good uh, good physical. So he can go there, right? Four star, medium high, six foot two. He's he's a great a great asset to the club, no question about it. We can then go and get Renato Sanchez. So let me go and get Renato Sanchez because then that will give Douglas Costa. Oh wait, actually, doesn't have to be Renato Sanchez now, does it? I oh, know it does because I want to give. I'm not going to be able to get the uh, sporting dude onto chemistry. God damn it. The only thing I'm going to be able to do is just not play Jonas or get a different right midfielder. Uh, let's get rid of him. If we just get any Brazilian right midfielder, Willian, someone like that. It's a shame that we sold. I'm not, buy I'm not buying Willian. I'm going to have to go for a, uh, a different Brazilian right wing. Someone that actually fits the... Uh, let's see if we've got anyone in the club. No. Um, someone that actually just fits the team. Lucas could be good. Lucas could be really good. Let's have a look at right mids. Willian, Rafinha in form. I'm not interested in. Henrique, I don't really care about. Not interested in any of these guys. They're just not good enough. I think Lucas could be the man. So we throw in we throw in Lucas. Interestingly, I've got Cavani who would get a strong link to him. We throw in Lucas. We then Lucas needs two links. Douglas Costa needs two links. Let's have a look at what Brazilians see because Buda Booz would like half work here. It just means that we like it would be really difficult to get the uh, the correct players in there. Let's have a look at any Brazilians that we've got in the club and what we can do with them. Oh, we have got a plethora of Brazilians. So I could go Roberto Firmino in there. And then I could put in at right back this this uh, Mariano who's got a pretty decent card. If we go in and got an anchor card for him, we might even have like comparable stats. See, he's got better pace, better shooting, better passing than Carvajal. Worse dribbling, way less defending and a little less physical. But Mariano could go in there. I would need a strong link to Firmino, which I don't have. I'm sure you guys have got ideas as to what I should do. Now, Raphael could be a good shout. Um, he's got a decent enough card. I actually quite like his card. See, if we put Raphael here, Lucas is sorted, Raphael is sorted, Costa is sorted, Firmino is one short. Hmm, do I have a centre forward to Cam position modifier? No, I have a striker to centre forward. Um, excuse me. Or, I could get rid of Firmino and get rid of Mariano. I'm going to get Serge Aurier at right back. Aurier. Squad building with Nepenthes. Got to love it. Um, Serge Aurier at right back. And he's got a great, like genuinely great card this year. Outstanding that card is. If a little short, but the rest of it, no problem at all. Um, so we can throw Aurier there. We can throw any PSG centre mid here. Any single PSG centre mid. Um, so let's go and have a look at, let's go and see if I've got any first, because I might just, I might, I don't know, I might just happen to have a Randy, like, Rabio lying about or something, um, PSG, okay, so let's just see if I've got any PSG players, other than Cavani, because we know we've got him, Ariola and August, oh, I've got Motta, he's a loney, I don't want to use a loney, um, let's go to Concept, players and have a look who would we add in here Matt I mean that's the the wrong one yeah the 86 Matuidi or the Ben Arthur or Pastore wow choices let's have a look at how much they go for Matuidi is going to cost us 32 to 35,000 um let's have a look at uh let's have a look at Pastore uh Pastore. Pastore. Ooh, not much for Pastore. And he's got a really good card. Four-star, four-star. Great passing and dribbling. 
pace and shooting designs. Physical, a little bit meh, but six foot two. Pastore could be a good shout. Krykoviak and Ben Arthur would be a couple of other good shouts. Let's have a look at um, Hatem Ben Afro. Uh, transfer market 40, 40, yeah, 17. I would probably pay 17K. Where are all the Ben Arthurs? This is crazy. There's like none of them on the market. That's insane. There's barely any Ben Arthur on the market. I wonder if it's because this is an uh, active position cam. I don't know. Uh, sorry, centre mid. Um, let me go to any here. And the other, let's have a look at uh, Krykoviak. I don't really like my outside midfielders to be... He's 900 coins. Why? Oh, because he's already converted to a centre mid. 900 coins for Krykoviak. You can't go wrong with buying an 84 rated player for 900 coins. Not that good. Okay, he only has two star skill moves, but you can't go wrong. You like I, I could discard him for 650 coins back. You just can't go wrong with that. So we'll get Krykoviak and we'll get Serge Aurier in here. Aurier, 2.2k there. It It's insane. It's genuinely insane how cheap these, um, these players are. Um... Then we go and get Serge Aurier. He was 2200. I am going to have to go and buy some chem styles, but I'll do that in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video, guys, is going to be a live game. As promised, I'll play the first game of the tournament live. Oh, hello. Ah. Um, I'll play the first game of the tournament live, and then I'll go and play the rest of it not live, if you, uh, if you get me. Not that you wouldn't not get me, because it's a very simple concept. Hey, Nepenthes, you're playing a game live. Yes, we understand you. Um, I'm looking right now, guys, for chem styles. If you see any with shadow or any with anchor, I would probably go and buy it. In fact, if we go and have a look at anchor chem style here, if we can get one for like around 2,500, that would be great. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's loads of him. Saving the day. 2,300 coins with anchor already on him and 31 contracts. I will take it. So we get Serge Aurier in defense. Krykoviak, Lucas, Jonas, um, Jonas, Douglas, Costa. We've got our Real Madrid defence. The only thing we're missing... Uh, why is this a concept? Oh, I need to buy Lucas. That would be helpful. Now, Lucas, I can't imagine, is going to go for more than about 3,000 coins. So like I said, I'm happy to splash some coins out on this team. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm splashing the cash. I am... Uh, I'm overspending, if anything. Um, and if on Lucas, what would we want for a chem style? Let's take a look at. Let's just take a look at his card real quick. He's got. I would probably give him Maestro because it. Um, or maybe what's the one? Is it Hawk that gives pace, passing, and dribbling? I think it's Hawk. So I want to go and find him with Hawk for anywhere up to 3,300, 3,500. 3,500 with Hawk. Not as a right midfield. I'm not interested. Let me go and see how much the uh, Hawk chem style is. Um, do, 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 Hawk. Hopefully not more than like 500 coins or so. Alright, so we're looking at... We're looking at 1,000 coins for Hawk. So we're looking at up to 4,000 coins for... Um, Lucas with a Hawk chem style already on him at right midfield. Uh, that's kind of where we're going for. So, it, I mean, as well, if we can actually get him at right forward, that would be ideal. But I can't imagine that's going to be the case. Let's have a look at him at 4,200. Okay, so he's plenty plenty at 4,200. 3,900 was the bin that wasn't bought. Let's try a look. 37. So there's that one at right mid. I'm not interested in the right mid. I need it to be a right wing or potentially a right forward. Oh, look at that. 3,800 coins right forwards with Hawk. Yes, please. I will take it. Probably should have taken it as a right wing, just for the simple fact that it would probably sell a little bit easier. Um, but I'm happy to take him there. This team is shaping up. The last problem we're going to have is getting the chemistry on the final midfielder, um, which could be problematic, but hopefully not. We'll convert uh, Raphael down to a centre mid at the necessary stage. Um, Krykoviak, I'm okay with him. On, on eight chemistry for, for a few games. So we'll convert him down to a centre mid. So it just comes down to this last midfielder. Now we could go for like Thomas Muller. See, Lucas doesn't need that link anymore. He doesn't need the link. 
It's a shame we can't hook up. Oh wait, no, we can't hook up Kalu because he Aurier needs one extra uh, link there. That's that is a shame. Buddha Booze goes in there and does give us a bonus chemistry, but that doesn't work for the whole team. Kalu goes in there gives us two extra chemistry, but would need a miracle to get a link there because he needs three links. So I basically need Brazilian or Bayern twice. No, I don't. I just need two. I just need two Bundesliga centre mids that are going to work with the team. Um, let's put him in there. Let's have a look at who we've got in Bundesliga first. Let's just have a look at every Bundesliga player. I think I already had a look at every Bundesliga player that I had anyway. But let's take another look. Let's take another pause for the cause. Um, so we've got Chalanoglu on loan, which just doesn't really help. We just we find ourselves two links short on Chalanoglu, which isn't ideal. Um, Martinez doesn't work. Castro, Castro just doesn't work because we don't have the links. Um, Geese, not interested in. Halilovic doesn't work. Muller doesn't work. And um, for the rest of them, let's go to concepts. I'm probably going to end up going with something like Renato Sanchez and and Thomas Muller, I think. That's probably going to be where we go with. We'll take a look. Could go with Thiago. Five-star skill moves. He's a bit short. I do, like I like the tall midfielders. Vidal would be ideal if I could fit him in like properly, but I just can't. Um, let's have a look at this Castro in form. I mean, Dahoud would actually would Dahoud work? One, two. If we swap those around, would Dahoud work? No, Dahoud doesn't work, and uh, that's a shame. So Dahoud doesn't work. Um, Renato Sanchez has kind of got to be the guy because he gets two off of uh, what's his name, and then we bring in. Another Bayern midfielder, basically. Which would probably be... I mean, we could actually go cheap to start with and go get um, Thiago and just have Thiago and what's his name. Uh, let's, let's, let's go and have a look at what we've got available from Bayern Munich. Bayern concept players. So we have got... Can't afford those. So Thomas Muller. I don't know how cheap or expensive he would be, but I can't imagine he'd be too expensive. Uh, just because nobody nobody rates him. Um, Vidal would be too expensive. Ribery, we already have Costa. So we could get Thiago. Not going to use Alonso. Um, Renato Sanchez. Kimmich I'm not going to use. It's probably going to be Thiago and... So we're going to get rid of uh, Raphael. We're going to go and get Thiago and Renato Sanchez. And that's going to be uh, that's going to be our team, I think. And then we don't need to buy any more position modifiers. As long as like Renato Sanchez isn't more than I'd say about 15k. I haven't I haven't checked his price. I remember I bought him for 13k way back at the start of FIFA. And um I sold him for like 20k afterwards. Alright, so he is less than 15k. That's brilliant. Okay, so it looks like he's less than about 14, maybe 13k. Let's go down to like 1350. Oh wow, he's eleven. Oh, perfect. Ten thousand coins. I'm I'm happy to pay ten k for a player like this. No problem at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Renato Sanchez. It just depends what if and if I can get him on a chem style and what chem style I prefer on him. I would probably prefer on him. Do you know what? I'd probably prefer basic on him. I would probably prefer to give him a rounded boost than anything else. And I will keep basic on Renato Sanchez. Let's see just how cheap we can get him for. We're looking at 9,000 some odd coins. 9,900 coins. There is one there for 9,900 coins. So we're, we're going to pay 10,000 coins now because my bin sniping abilities are gone. So we'll pay 10k for Renato Sanchez, which is just unbelievable. I mean, I know he's 78 rated. He's, he's a low-end player, but he's got such great stats. So Renato Sanchez goes into the team, and then we need a Thomas Muller... And I would genuinely be surprised if we pay, pay more than 10k for Thomas Muller. Wow. I'm going to go and get Thiago. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to go and get Thiago. I'm not paying 35,000 for Thomas Muller. We are going to go and get ourselves Thiago for hopefully less than 10k as well. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. He looks like he's going to be about 5k, let alone 10k. Oh my god. Are you joking? Why is he so cheap? 
He's from a big club, a big nation, a big league, five-star skill moves, a decent enough looking card. Why? I, I would love him with Maestro. Let's go and get Maestro on Tiago. I mean, the Maestro cards are actually like literally 200 coins. So there should be some here. Yeah, as expected, there will be some here with Maestro already. Uh, we'll take this one just for the more contracts. And that's going to be the team, guys. And we've still got 575,000 coins. And I'm, I'm using a team that I'm using just to incorporate a few players that I've never used before. Pack Paul, Douglas Costa, um, the, the Squad Builder Challenge, Jonas. We've got a nice PSG vibe going down the right-hand side. We've got a couple of solid players in uh, Thiago and Renato Sanchez. On the, uh, on the midfield. The midfield is a little bit worrying just because it's quite short. 5-9 uh, for Renato. High, high though. 5-9 for Thiago. And Krajkoviak, the only decent sized midfielder at 6-1. It might be a case that once we get in-game, I swap around uh, Thiago and Krajkoviak. Um, I would want to put anchor on Krajkoviak, but for now I'm happy with basic. Um, I'm happy, like for, like for foot champs, I would want chem styles. This won't be my foot champs team. So just for a, a tournament, um, I'm happy to do this. Now, I would prefer a League One manager, a French League manager, which I'm sure I have. Uh, Turkey, Denmark. I must have a French League manager in here. There is no way. There is, oh, there we go. I was going to say, there is no way. I have all of these managers and no French league manager. Right, so he puts... We're, we're on 100 chem anyway. A um, couple of dudes will get to 10 chem after 10 games. Uh, the, all three centre midfielders will do so. I could also convert Krakowiak to a centre midfielder and get him to 10 chem, but not interested. And as soon as I convert Douglas Costa to a left wing, he will also go to 10 chem. But I'll do that in the next video because this video is already 45 minutes long. But guys unbelievable scenes look at look at this club look at the bench alone this is from nothing but time nothing but time and we have all of this i am blown away we got in our pack pianic amazing we also got kalu we also got buddha booze uh buddha booze card is actually ridiculously good it's really similar and i really enjoy using uh roberto Firmino's card um, Firmino has a little bit better pace defending and physical, but worse shooting, worse passing, same dribbling. And then it, also, if you look at Kalu com compared to Roberto Firmino, Kalu has better shooting, same passing, better dribbling, better physical, narrowly less pace and, and uh, physical. Sorry, has better defending, better dribbling, better pace and better shooting, passing and shooting even. Can't, can't, can't get my words out. Um, it's going to be fun for me to not be using the, uh, the Sterling Son uh, duo up front for a few games. But this is the team we're going to rock with. I don't know how well this team's going to play. This Jonas might fall flat on his face. Um, he just might not do the business for me. But he might be one of the best strikers I've ever used. 89 shooting, 89 dribbling, 85 passing. If we have to convert him down to a centre midfielder, I will convert him down to a centre midfielder. I will put Jardel in defence and like get Marcelo or something at left back and just be done with it. Because he, he for me, he looks like he would make a much better centre mid. Um... Especially with Maestro on him. 5'11". Okay, he's got high medium, but in a three-man midfield, he'd be great. But this guy is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.